everybody's up at 9 o'clock watching because you didn't have anything else to do. Because you got up because you thought, I was supposed to get up. I'm supposed to go to work. Oops. Well, your body got up. <laughs> the older you get, your body gets on autopilot and will not sleep late sometimes for some reason. Mine does. I'll put it that way. I can't sleep late some days. Even though I'm off, I... You're just up. I'm just up. So, I don't even have an alarm clock unless I have something very urgent that I need to get up for. Like Saturday, we had to get up really early, but... I don't even have an alarm clock. My body knows just to wake up. So. It's, it's time. Mm -hmm. Ding! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So happy you joined us this day. On your day off, a lot of you, some people are still working, but most everybody has Labor Day off. It's the last hurrah for, for barbecuing and cooking out and pool parties. If you live up north. If you live in <laughs> New York. <laughs> But here, yeah, we're we'll be, be doing it today. next weekend. Next weekend, you got, that, you got that Thanksgiving barbecue and then that Christmas barbecue yeah. that we do. Normally, fun. you can wear shorts and barbecue <clears throat> on Thanksgiving and Christmas here. So, it's very rare that it's cold. Thank or, God. Or too cold to go outside and cook anyway. So, mm -hmm. so for all you folks who are up north, <laughs> too bad. Sorry. Sucks for you. Winter is coming. Yeah, winter's coming. It's going, to, it's going to dip into the 70s. <laughs> Freezing. Ooh. People here do put on sweaters Ooh. when they hit 70. Please. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like, please, it's not cold. So today, we're, um, uh, I think it's because we were watching, and I have it in the show notes, we were watching, uh, what, what was that show, Four, Four Wedding? Weddings. One of my favorite shows. So it's one of the ones that I watch. <laughs> What? He watches it with me. It's one of the ones I watch. <laughs> so uh, we're watching Four Weddings, and there was this um, couple who had written their own vows. And um, something that, 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 that the young man said struck Deborah as um, That's interesting. Kind of silly. And kind of, kind of silly. Well, but they were newlyweds. They mm -hmm. didn't know any better. So we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But... Um, they were they, they had wrote their own vows after saying the traditional vows they said their own vows and he mentioned he said he promises to be the same man that he is today that she marries uh years from now he promised to be that and i looked at willie and i'm like i, I like, hope not <laughs> i hope you're not the same dude 40 years from now than you are as you are now that would be problematical. Yeah, I hope that you mature and you learn and your marriage grows stronger and and things things change. So I looked at him and I said, that's a good topic for tomorrow. So we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the, this whole idea, this whole romantic idea that... that, that Things are going to be, ex you're going to feel and you're going to be exactly how you are on that day at that moment. Um, that's a very romantic thing, but it's not very practical. No. And I think, I think the problem becomes, if that becomes the expectation. Then that's where it gets um, to be a problem and where people have, pro you know, want to get divorced and they, they argue and fight all the time. You've changed. Yes, I've changed. I'm. I, we got married when I was 23 and he was 26. Now we are. Fifth. Oh, you were 27. I'm sorry. That's I'm okay. sorry. I'm trying to make you younger. <sighs> Limping around here like a 90 year old man. <laughs> trying to make me younger. But anyway, now we are 54, 58. You know. He's not the same, and I'm glad he's not the same man I'm not that the he same was dude then. then. And if I were the same, we probably wouldn't be married. <laughs> to be honest, if I was the same girl that I, when I walked down the aisle and married him, it's you know all thinking I'm an in Miss Independent and don't need nobody and blah 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 blah, and you know the attitude that I had. And the, the relationship that I thought I had with Christ, uh, would, I wouldn't be married. 
at this point. And, and if you and, and, and if the process doesn't make you learn or teach you things in the process of being married, it isn't just the it isn't just the marriage ceremony, but the process of being married, uh, the process of living with someone for you know what an extended period of time. If that doesn't have any influence on you, <clears throat> then I'm gonna tell you, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Because it's supposed to change you. It's supposed to mold you. It's supposed to, you're, you're supposed to be different as the process goes on. You're not supposed to be the same. This idea that you find someone who's perfect for you and then you move through life the same way forever is a ridiculous expectation because, it, it's, it's, first of all, it's not practical and it's not true. You're going to change. If, if you were sitting in the house by yourself, you were going to change. Yes. You were going to be a different person. So what makes you think that because you got married that you were going to be that same person? I mean, that was a that was a lovely thought. Yeah, and it I was sweet think. that he was saying that. He, he thought, thought it was, he, he was being... He thought it was okay. Yes. <laughs> but it, you got to change. Dude, dude, you're wrong. You were you're so wrong. Uh, you better change, and you better change, and you better mold, and because you can't become the one that you were that you're supposed to be if you don't change. You you're not the one, the the connected one, that day that you think you are. You're not. You don't become that until later. You don't become the power couple until later. And you got to change to become the power. You got to grow to become that couple. Each of you have to grow in your <clears throat> own. Um, your own way in order to be, be together and change. Yep. So it's a it's a status of changing from um, I think your economic status because if you if if you're still earning the same amount of money that you were earning <laughs> when you got married, then unless you're living on an island, that's a problem. It's going to be a problem. If you are uh, physically um, now, I wish that I was physically the same as I was back then in some ways, but um, you're physically, you're going to change. So you've got to learn to love that person in their, that physical status. Yeah. Gravity, yeah. gravity is real. Gravity is real. Age is real. <clears throat> Unless you have money to have plastic surgery. <clears throat> plastic surgery where you can defy <laughs> gravity for a while. But it still comes. But your body change. But, but, but your body changes, and you can work out. And you can do all those all those things, and you can take care of yourself, and you can eat clean, and and do and do all that. Do all of that. Please do take care of yourself. But your body, because your body is going to age. You're not going to have that 27 year old body when you're 50, 30 years later. That body's going to be different. That body's going to react different. Um, it's going to take longer to recover. I mean, it just it, it just does. <clears throat> I mean, again, that, that that's when the expectation is a problem because <clears throat> if someone think you, thinks you're going to do all these things and still have your 27 year old body, people who, who who are healthy will tell you you don't have your 27 year old body. You may have a really good 57 year old body, but you won't have your 27 year old body. Um, so those things will so those things will change. And people, again, physical excuse me, physical. Advil. Mmm. Yes. When you belch Advil, it's nasty. Uh, so don't let that be your expectation. Know that it's going to change. And change doesn't mean that it's going to get worse. Change usually means if you do it right, it's going it's to be going to better. better. Yes. It's going to be better than you thought it was. Your, your relationship changes. And we, we <clears throat> talk about that in some of our other videos about... On a, after our, we renewed our vows for 30 years, um, we went to a different level in our relationship. Um, we, we communicate better, and, and, I, and I credit that to God, to the Holy Spirit, being stronger and thicker within our relationship. But we communicate better, we um, spend more time together, and we're not fighting. <laughs> I don't fight. We, we have discussions. Yeah. We don't fight. <laughs> you see, do you see how I did that? <laughs> Guys, did you see how I did that? Did you see how I did that? <laughs> That's how I do that. We have discussions. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and, 
and we just all around the the whole thing just changed and that's what brought up brought apart this to wanting to do this little um, segment every week um is to share how how years and years have changed our marriage for the better that's the and and, and, and that's really the thing <clears throat> i think again people people think that you're going to be looking for your your forever spouse um, to start with, and they're going to be perfectly okay with the way you are right now, and because you're never going to change, and and they're never going to change either. And I've said it twice already this morning. It's back to a ridiculous expectation, and you have problems in relationships, any kind of relationships, marriage, romantic relationships, business relationships, friend relationships. When there is a um, an expectation that's not met, um, mm -hmm. that's when there's conflict, and I think that a lot of times um, that's what the deal is. That's where we have this this well. This is not this is not like I thought it was going to be at all. Marriage is I, I didn't think it'd be like this. And my my first question is, what do you think it'd be like? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think it'd be like? Well, when we, when, and, 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 when we were dating, and we could always goes back, doesn't it? <laughs> when? Well, when was that? That was ten years ago. Well, what the hell? <laughs> it's not gonna be like that. For me, that's, that's that's even stupid. Like, what, really? Did you think that you are you the same person you were ten years ago? Now? Well, he's not gonna. Well, be, he's not gonna be the same person either. Or she's not gonna be. And and this goes for any relationship. And that, and I know that we come in this as a marital relationship but um, this will go with your best friend your work partner your any kind of partner that you have it's going to change throughout the years if you expect to be with that person for any length of time um, I've noticed even in friendship relationships yes they change they change uh, you know I have friends that I have been friends with since high school that you know we've gotten back together on Facebook and talk and stuff like it but they have been, they have been through things and and hello out there to any of you watching they have been through things that have changed them and I have been through things that have changed me when, when you get together with that person you're not going to be talking about you know the same old stuff that that you were talking about before life changes people yeah, and, I, and 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 not everybody goes the same direction. I'll tell you, I'll give you, I I give you a hint. Guys do this a little better than girls. Yes. But it's a but it's but if but if it can happen to you, you know you have a friend. Uh, if you haven't talked to your friend or, or seen a friend for a while, and you happen to go out to lunch or go out to dinner or breakfast or something, and you start the conversation as if you you were just hanging out yesterday, mm -hmm. that's a good sign. Um, the catching up thing comes sort of naturally, but you don't have to catch up because it isn't the thing you come to that relationship as yourself, and that's the person that is your friend where you are where you are now. Um, and De Debbie's right. A lot of things happen happen to people, and that that changes them. We, you know, when you have friends in college, you all have this college experience in common. But then a few years later, you don't have that in com you don't really have that in common anymore. It's not relevant anymore. Um, so you've gone off and you've got jobs, hopefully, and you and you've got relationships and children, and your life is your life is different. So you had to change. You had to be different. So you can't come to you can't come back to your friend relationship and go, ah, you know, let's go down to the pub and and and, and, and knock down six pictures pictures like we did before. <laughs> That's not your relation. That's not who you are. That shouldn't be who you are. You know? No. And, and the first thing that, that friend says, well... Dude, you've changed. <laughs> you go, yeah. yeah. You're not the same old friend that we I got used to hang out with. You know? I got stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. Got money to make, people to see, I that, you yeah. know. There's, there's people back there no who time, depend on me. No time for poor Paul. Just to, to, and, and poor Paul's, I'm going to tell you. Has, has a special place in my heart. It was a that's love. A be, that's a bar that it's we a, hang it's out. A love, so it was a lovely place, and we had great times there. But you know, if I go to Tallahassee, that's not my first stop. If I stop there at all, we pass there and go. Oh, there's Port Paul's. 
it was great, but I, I've it doesn't moved, attract you. Anymore. I've moved on from poor Paul's. Poor Paul's. Remember, it's not you. It's me. It's me. You know, and, and you're supposed to change. I, 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 I got no, I got no hate for poor Paul's. Poor Paul's was was, was fun, uh, but I'm not a poor Paul's guy anymore. And I don't think any of, I don't really think any of us are, which is really really funny. Uh, because everybody had gone, went, went through some stuff and changed and matured, hopefully. For one thing, you are older and you can't sit down and have two and three pitchers of beer. <laughs> You'd have to call 911 after the first half pitcher. Is he breathing? I don't know. It would be very bad. It would be very bad. Your body, again, my physically, body, you have really changed. Nah, Your you, body can't you take can't, that you anymore. You can't do that. No, no, seriously, you, you have to call 911 and see if I, and, and put a mirror in front of me and see how it's still breathing. It would be very, very bad. Very bad. But, you know, you ch you change. You have to. And I, and I think that um, when people don't realize, and, I, and, and this, is, this is crazy to us, that people don't really realize that you're going to. Mm -hmm. they, they just think that, oh, this is it, and then... And we're going to be together, and we're going to be... Be just, just like right. this. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. I hope not. I think a good business uh, example would be for. Um, remember Buddy Freddy's? I do remember Buddy Freddy's. That that's will, something a, for the Florida it's people. A warm, I have a warm Buddy. place in my heart for Buddy Freddy's too. Buddy Freddy's was a a, a restaurant here um, uh, that was around buffet a buffet that had excellent country food. Delicious. And they, I mean, it helped me change. <laughs> People love Buddy Freddy's um, for after church on Sundays and Thanksgiving and Christmas. They were open and you could go there and have your meals with your families if you wanted to. And I think they're brothers, right? They are, Buddy. Buddy and, buddy and Freddy were brothers. And all of a sudden, their restaurants... But Buddy Freddy's closed. Are gone. And you're like, what? what, what happened? Well, they had a falling out. They After changed. All, all those years. And they grew up in the ho same household together. So All those years. <laughs> they, you know, so, something in something that. Happened. In that personal slash business relationship that changed. And they decided to go their separate ways. Which so, was a disappointment for all of us. So now we only have Freddy's. Yeah. And um, it's the it's only one and it's in Plant City. And it's busy as heck all. Just want to review. Time. Do I want to review? Mm -hmm. Dwan Washington. Hi, so, Dwan. good morning. Surprised you're up this early <laughs> on a holiday. That's not usually your style, is it? <laughs> but no, you know, so 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 even things that you think are going to stay the same forever don't. Um, Sears and Roebuck, two people. Eh, it ended up just being Sears for most of you, didn't it? Most of, you, business most, most of us didn't grow up with Sears and Roebuck. Most of us grew up with Sears. Uh, because that business relationship fizzled too. Because things change. And if you don't, and I, and I think the problem is, not that they change, I think the problem is that if you don't understand that they're going to, then disappointment's going to come. Yes. Frustration is going to come. Um, so I think you have to understand that they're going to. Uh, and... And as long as you understand that, and you're willing to work to with work that with person. it, and and, and 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 then work with you, is that's when you see growth. You won't see growth if there's if there's no change. You won't see growth. You know, you can put you can put a, a a a little thing in a pot this big, and it's got a cute little flower. But if it if it doesn't grow, it's going to die. It's not going to stay that way forever. It's a bit, it, hopefully it will be too big for the pot after and a while. And you have to change pots. And then you have to change pots. You don't throw it away because it got too big. It, like people do with dogs. Mm -hmm. they, they buy them and they're cute little puppies. They buy a great name puppy and it's adorable. It's got big ears and floppy paws and then it becomes a horse. And then they give it away because it changed. It was going to change. Same thing with kittens. People buy kittens and they love cute. them and stuff, and, and then and they, they become cats. And they scratch your furniture. And they scratch your furniture, and they and they and of course you know cats poop inside uh, because cats are like yeah, I don't want to poop outside. And then they yell if you don't get them fixed, and you know they become they become what they what they were going to be anyway. And then people go oh they change. Well yeah 
Yeah. yeah. But people treat, tend to treat other people the same way now. Why do you think that is? People treat their relationships like that. When they things go sour or they feel like that person, well, you're not, like we said, you're not like you were when we were dating. You're different. You're not the same person. And they are not going to be the same person, so then it's time to get another one. Could it be that they, they may be the same person, but the person who thinks they're not is actually, that person has changed? Yes. You know that saying that Maya Angelou used to always say, when someone shows you who they are, believe, believe them. them. Believe them. So it's, and, and things are always lying dormant in you, the real you, all the time. That real person is going to grow and come out. Just like that puppy. That real the, the Great Dane is going to come out one day. So it's been there all the time. So I guess we're not saying that you change, but you mature. You become the real you. And when that real you comes out, your partner may not be able to handle that. You know, once you get... <clears throat> because what happens, uh, and then I've found that in our relationship, that over the years, being with that person helps you to grow. It helps to make you stronger, helps to make you wiser. And if you go into that relationship being that small, timid little person, you know, and haven't grown up, a lot of, uh, especially I see that in women, a lot of women they grow and they become mature and they become themselves within you know in themselves and then they want to to sh express things differently they want to do things differently and that husband or their spouse may not can handle it because they're expecting them to be that same person <laughs> that they married but they can't they can't stay that way they can't be that person um, 20, 30 years later. So you got to be prepared for that. And and how you are prepared for that is to, to learn about yourself, have a relationship with, with Christ. A lot of that helps a lot of people. But just <clears throat> sometimes people require um, counseling and training. When you see that, because you hear a lot of people in midlife crisis, that's no midlife crisis. They just found who they really were. They the the real person just came out, and they got freaked out by it. Yes, that was a crisis. They got freaked out by it. So you know what? You know, going and buying a sports car in a midlife crisis that that's ridiculous. See, that's the whole point. That you thought that you were going to be the same, and then and then one day you woke up and then you noticed that things were different. So you're, so now you're in a crisis. No, you're not in a crisis. You you, you just didn't you just didn't prepare. You nobody prepare told you for that. nobody told you that it was going to be di that at some point it was going to be different. And and when your parents told you it was going to be different, you thought they were just old fogies and didn't know what they were talking about. Yes. <laughs> you thought they were just old and and didn't know what they were talking about. Except they knew exactly what they were going to talk what they were talking about, and they were right. It's going to be. Different. different. And you need to be prepared for that difference. Um, this whole idea that um, people are, well, you know what, I, I just didn't expect you to be like that. Well, because first of all, you weren't paying attention. And guys do this, they don't pay attention. Um, their, their spouses grow and they change and they become, um, like Debbie said, they, they sort of blossom in their personhood, become more confident. Um, and you may or may not be the reason because of it. Because of it. You may not, you, you, you may, you may be the guy that's strong enough to go, all right, you want to do this? Go do that. You're great. Do this. Oh, you'll be great. And that grows their confidence. When you think you're just being nice, what you're doing is growing their confidence. And, 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 and then one day, that confidence shows up in a way that you hadn't expected, and now you're freaked out. Yeah, I guess you need counseling. Uh, yeah, sure. Go, go see somebody. Um, but um, you have to understand that, that, that when, and, and, and Debbie's right, when people grow, they actually become more of who they are. I mean, whoever you are is, is in there all the time. Oh, it's there already. Like when they say money spoils people. No, 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 no. Money doesn't have anything to do with it. It enhances They people. were spoiled to start with. Mm -hmm. Money made it easier for them to act spoiled. 
They were they, they were spoiled brats and selfish beings to start with. Money made it easier to do that. Money didn't cause it. If they were loving, giving people before they had money, they'll be loving, giving people after they have money. Yes. It just enhances it. I mean, the money was neutral. Um, so it just, you know, we life just sort of opens us up and shows everybody who we really are. And and, and the, the example of money is good because as people get older, you know, and their status at work and their different things, and they start making more money and they can do more things, it, you know, they don't have to win the lottery to, to, to become that. They, it gradually happens with them earning more money at work. You know, they can do more things and go on vacations and do stuff, you know, and it brings the real you out. Sure. So know that you're going to change and know that, it, it, that, that, your, that, that your goal is to realize that as it's going on, and, and how do you, well, how do you do that? Well, you got to keep the line, and it always goes back to, you have to keep the lines of communication open. You have to talk to one another, and, and guys, guys, you have to pay attention. Pay attention. Women, too, you, you know, because men change. It, people tend to focus more on men and their midlife crisis thing because they go buy a sports car and they do this and blah, blah, blah. But, um... Uh, women do it in a in a slower, I think. I don't, I don't know in a slower process because they start in their forties and then as they get gradually get a little more and more and more and they they get stronger. They do it in a quiet kind of way. Sneaky. <laughs> Is that the word sneaky. I guess sneaky might be. <laughs> sneaky. Be a good way to put it, but uh, <laughs> is it really, is it really you, though? you have to really pay attention to be on it, you know. So, and that's the idea, you know. We just pay, pick, communicate, and pay, and and pay attention, um, and, and then always look to. And I was telling somebody this on Saturday: um, the things that change, you have to always say, are they more important than the relationship? So. Always evaluate. I mean, always go back to evaluating any of the changes as opposed to the the the, the, the relationship. Is the relationship the most important thing? Is relationship the most important thing? And as long as the relationship is the most important thing, you're going to you're going, you're going to be, be fine. Okay. You're yes. going to be just fine. All right. Well, it's about time for us to get out of here and make room for somebody else because my uh, our Your clock just went yeah, off. Yeah, my clock just went off. So we're gonna try to organize this in a. In, in, a, in a really sort of organized fashion, not this sort of hoopla fashion. Hoopla. We're getting better. Getting better. Getting better. All right, listen, uh, thanks for watching here on Facebook. And uh, know that we have a YouTube channel, um, Real Talk with Devin Will. Uh, and you can go to, you can find it by Deborah, going to Deborah Lawson on YouTube. And there it is. There are 29, almost 30 videos up. Uh, not just this, but uh, us gallivanting around town doing stuff me cooking in the kitchen over there uh, that's something new it's something new uh, me mopping the floor right around here that was something new too so that'll be cool uh, so go ahead and, and, and watch us on, on, on YouTube because Facebookers we're going to make the jump here in a, in, in a little bit to straight YouTube so I'm trying to give you the heads up alright we got a guy here make room for somebody else so until we see you again go out there and learn something Love somebody. Hope that we were we were helpful to some of you out there. Y'all take care of yourself.